Hello, welcome in this YouTube SAP tutorial. <clears throat> Today we are going to learn how can we do the good receipt against the purchase order. So, study we have uh, learned what is the procurement process. So, we are going to uh, learn how to good receipt against the purchase order. So you know to follow the SAP menu path, logistic, material management, inventory management, goods movement, good receipt, then GR for purchase order, that is MIZO. You can also directly execute the transaction box MIGO, MIGO command and here you will get the option. Select the good receipt against the purchase order, fill the purchase order and you need to fill the movement type is 101 and uh, you will get uh, all the quantity uh, uh, available in the purchase order you will get the detail of the all the quantity you see in the purchase order you have option that for which line item which quantity you want to going to receive fine so this there is a flexibility in the good receipt against the purchase order and uh, for example we are going to receive for 14.305 kilometers of this OFC aerial 4 fiber and uh, here you need to fill the vendor and here you need to fill the materials the bill of landing delivery note and all okay and uh, in the quantity in the delivery note you need to fill the quantity in the delivery note that is 14.305 kilometer and here also need to fill the 14.305 kilometer that is the quantity in the delivery note okay and uh, you have to fill the where data, purchase order data, partner account assignment. These are some data will automatically fetch from the SAP server uh, from the purchase order data and the some data you need to fill. Okay. And uh, there is a <coughs> okay. So system is giving you the warning that 0.695 kilometers 1704 thousand storage location there is a deficit. Okay. So we are going to change this. Okay. So quantity order is this. Quantity in the delivery note is this and uh, this. So you need to update and correct the data as per the requirement. <coughs> you can set the document date and posting date accordingly. And once you post the document, uh, you can ignore the warning message. And once you post the document, a, a MIGO document will generate. And uh, this is the MIGO document. And you can trace this document in the MB51 transaction code by putting the plan code, storage location code, moment type 101. You can directly trace this. Okay. And uh, this is the beauty of the SAP. Uh, menu path SAP menu, through the SAP menu path you can get the data and uh, <clears throat> in the material document uh, this is the MB, MB52 or MB51 okay and uh, in 1704,000 storage location 1704,000 storage location and here Once you receive the purchase order, once you receive the purchase order, then uh, you can check the quantity in the MB52. Okay, uh, we are checking the document number. See, this document has been posted 14.305 kilometer is there. So, against this purchase order. Okay, so this is the beauty of this transaction code you can trace the document you can check the status of the inventory where is this located here okay so and you can also check the data in the mb52 uh, for the quantity updation okay 
for the quantity of patients. So this is all about how can you reship the goods against the purchase order. Okay. And, uh, please share this knowledge with your MM field users. You can also track your inventory using SAP uh, because we have placed the purchase order from SAP and when it has supplied the material and we have to receive the material first in the SAP, then distribute the material in our field units and then MB51, MB, MB51 is a document wise history, MB52 is a material wise history and uh, <clears throat> There are various transaction code. You can track your inventory, but it is keep in mind once you utilize your inventory, please maintain in the SAP. So from the longer, longer time, you can able to track the inventory in the SAP. So there is no need to update in any other portal, but if you are maintaining in any other portal, then you need to update the data instantly as, you soon, as soon as you utilize the inventory. Thank you. Have a nice day. If you have any query in your mind, please mention in the comment section and, and please refer to our SAP MM playlist. We have created lots of tutorial for the understanding as a knowledge sharing purpose. Okay. Uh, you will visit uh, to that tutorial sections and in the SAP MM, SAP PM, SAP SD, SAP HCM basis and HCM FICO. Okay. So thank you. See you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.